Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Midnight Suns. Uh, we've just been sent a message by Nico because we didn't socialise with the rest of the team, so we're going to have a look and see what that's about. Hunter, you there? By the way, this is Nico. In case no one gave you the rundown on how the spark works, Blade and Cap Marvel just filled us in with freaky stuff, especially Forsters. And then they all just left me here alone. You should come hang out. Uh, thanks, but no. Wow, they're, they're really leaning in to the whole friendship thing. <laughs> Good. You answered. Getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room. Spacious. Oh, is that bed for Charlie? Uh, yes. yeah, but where is Charlie? Well, if you're Somewhere around. If giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff. Or quasi-human. <laughs> You're a Midnight Sun now. One of us. One of us. Nico, One of us. I just Hydra bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge, or... Maybe crack open the casket of Agent Winters a little? Okay, I guess we're doing the social thing. Nico is now available for combat missions. Alright. Let's uh, go have a look. So, she starts at level 3. Got decent offense. What abilities has she got? Curse, applies stun, marked, vulnerable, or weak. <laughs> gets chosen when it gets drawn. Okay. Blood magic. Applies to blood magic. Counter, fast, or strengthened to her or an ally. And empower, change the cost of all heroic cards in your hand to zero until the end of turn. That's very... Very amazing. She is a wild card. I can I can see us taking her out on missions. Alright, well we know some people stepped outside. She wants us to go to the common room. We can lounge by the pool. How relaxing. I needed that. Not exactly what I expected, but got a right of initiation waiting for you in the common room. Yeah, I'll I'll be going there in a moment. Yeah, there's Essence and stuff dotted around the place, so we should have a little nose around. Hang on, that that door's closed. How rude. I don't think we're going to go all the way around the grounds. I do want to have a little... A little scooch. Just to make sure we're not going to miss anything obvious. Uh, not yet, Nico. We're going to go the other way.
just in case there's anything quickly available out here. I'm not seeing anything glowing. We can run outside, so that's good. We already got this marked on our thing. Yeah, we do. Howdy. Philip relies on weapons both supernatural and conventional. That makes her own. All right. Well, I don't see Captain Marvel, so she might be flying around somewhere. We'll just do a quick once round the barracks. It's more, more pages, more glyphs. The uh, the glyphs here uh, we've seen are very similar to the ones over at the forge. Hey, Charlie. Good girl, <coughs> Charlie. Charlie's level three now. There's all these little, little boxes dotted around. We did get some more uh, gamma goop, so we can't do this yet. We've got to talk to Nico. All right, we'll actually push on the main plot. Despite almost getting blown up, it seems you did pretty well out there. Maybe there's hope for the world yet. Let's join a hangout uh, with watching a movie. <coughs> I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Um, that's terrible. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. Uh, I never saw Lilith as my mother. Lilith gave birth to me, but Caretaker was my true mother. Right, so your adoptive mom raised you to kill your birth mom. <laughs> You'll fit in perfectly. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Okay. We can give her a gift. Can we do it again? Okay, so... We've got a friendship reward from her. She loved the activity, the conversation, liked the gift. Uh, we've got some cosmetics for Nico. And we have some cosmetics for us. So, what did you think of the movie? We talked through it. I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries. I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Movies, apparently. Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... I think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. <laughs> then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. And I had a nose through your cards. Free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? Um, yeah. I had some questions about your staff. 
Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. Oh, that's interesting. Can you tell me how the staff of one functions? It's, uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. I would get what some kind of words you clotting see? agent. They come true. Uh, kind of. And not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. Alright, how about the runaways? I have some questions about your old team. The runaways? Sure thing. Where are they today? Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert, she, uh, she didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. Well, that sucks. I should go. I should <laughs> Dodge out of that awkward uh, conversation. Good, good timing. Um, <coughs> the caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. All right, so it's an interesting mechanic, the hangouts. Free time productively. Lilith is no less aggressive now than she was 300 years ago. If anything, she's become even more brazen with age. Hopefully, it's just desperation on her part. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. Uh, yeah. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. Not quite like it was in the good old days. A lot of reminiscing. Things don't seem all that different. The world is still <clears throat> full of monsters and villains. My mother being the worst of them all. You forgot heroes. The world is still full of heroes. Though sadly, we're missing one of our best. Agatha. Where is Agatha? I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner, <coughs> but you should know, Agatha, she's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce, indomitable, or maybe just kind to a fault. Uh, so how did she die? Agatha's power... How could she be gone? She put her trust in the wrong person. I'll do it. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger... The threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Hmm. So, we get to, uh... To choose the positive or the negative, I think you made the right choice. Wanda's powers were so out of control they cost a life. Your decision may have saved lives, if not the entire Abbey. I like to believe that, especially given her current situation. <sighs> Wanda, 
Agatha, it seems we have lost them both now. Maybe not forever. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. Well, we've already found that outside. Ah, and here we go, balance. So the hunter can follow the path of light or dark through the choices they make and the abilities they use in combat. Powerful rewards can be unlocked as they move down either path. Okay. So let's see if we can find out about our balance. Also, this arcane level down here, is it going to give me a tooltip about it? No, it's not. Okay, current balance 1 out of 200. So I guess there is a maximum that you can push. I guess we're, we're heading down the dark path already. That's it's going to be fine. Oh, we have options for, for unlocking different outfits. And these give rewards. Okay, so a lot of these progress the story, collect all tarot cards. Hundred and fifty dark balance, hundred and fifty light balance. Okay, we've got, we've got plenty of things to do to to get those. Uh, we're gonna want to check the customization on the other heroes as well. I expect. Well, the default one is is pretty cool. I do like the Night Stalker, but it's. It's not spectacular. I'm glad to see you're coming out of your shell after all these. That is spectacular, though. Miami Nights. <laughs> we'll keep we'll keep the default for now. Just have a quick look through each of the heroes. So not not many outfits for a lot of them. And of course there is swimsuits for lounging by the pool. Okay, well that's that's enough having a look through that. Where's Charlie? Hey Charlie, lead us onto the shrine. Oh, hello. Oyster mushrooms. Oh, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes peeled for all kinds of stuff dotted around now. I wonder if I get this cat's going to be around. Well. This is unexpected. Agatha. You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To be able to see her. To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. Yep, a little bit. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. 
You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> That's like saying no harm ever came from reading a book. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Now I'm I'm definitely a cat person rather than a dog person, but I'll make an exception for Charlie. More oyster mushrooms. More oyster mushrooms. What's this over here? A new haven? The Dry Badlands. There are numerous haven locations on the Abbey grounds. Once discovered, they can be used for a special daytime hangout with a hero where friendship rewards are increased. Each haven can be used only once. And each hero can only attend a single haven across the course of the game. So that's going to be a matter of figuring out who wants to hang out where. I don't see any more mushrooms dotted around here. Right. Agatha, I'm ahead of you. Hey, that's cheeky. Touch the blood seal. Oh, will you look at that? This ominous looking portal is known as a blood gate, and you're the only one among us who can pass through it. So why did I never blood know gate. about it? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes, Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. What lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do. But it's always polite to ask. Whoa. In we go. Trial of the Elder Gods. Oshtur. Yeah, let's um Let's jump straight into this. I was considering going back to the uh, the forge, but I wanna see what this is all about. That is not a fast loading time. Not at all. I think it might be getting there now, though. Not what you were expecting, is it? There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings. Interesting. That's why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I should have been. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? Hey, Charlie. Charlie? 
Oh, hey, Charlie. The old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Okay. A lot of doggos. An order. Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one. Okay, we're gonna do some uh, some quick attacks first. What does marked do? Refunds a card play when knocked out. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so we'll get all of these howled. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. We can use a quick slash. Which will give us back a card play and the marked will give us back a card play. Let's start here. You were too weak for this fight. Oh, it only gave us one back in total. That was a, a waste then. Let's uh, get a bite on this one. That will give us a new card. Those can both be killed by using heroic bits. That should have given us a, a card play. Yeah, for the next two turns, from funds a card play when knocked out. Let's try that again. Yeah, that did not do it. I guess that's uh, it's a bug in the way it's phrased, and it's not really about that. It's about the uh, uh, if an if a card ability is used. Which is a shame, but these uh, these things happen. Uh, we'll get this one. Okay, we're down to two. So we could just take out these two, and we can't quite take that one out. It's a shame if I'd done things ever so slightly differently. Let's redraw this. Maybe we'll get a quick... Bite works. Mm. It might give us another quick... Yeah, here's a quick. Your mother abandoned you. And we'll use a slash. Cleared the pack in one go. Good or one turn. Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finished this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. So what does the trial get us? Finished in one turn. Hold on, friends. This issue has everything. That is the worst cover that I've seen in a very long time. Oh. 
that actually opens up a new area. Well, of course we're going to have a little nose around. This, uh... Doesn't look like we can get back out. Okay, we've got a couple of things. We've got the moon seal. Which is an elder artifact. No idea what that's going to do. We've got a faded journal page. Let's have a read. From Wanda's journal. Agatha was just as surprised as I was when it happened. Those shrines out of the ground, the blood magic. I'm not supposed to just walk right in there, but once again, well, here we are. She told me not to worry, but how can I not worry? Trying to gain the blessing of Ushta without facing her trial? I didn't even know what I was looking for, really, just some way I could help. Whatever, at least now I can get into Magic's room when she locks me out. Check all around the room, walk through some of the cobwebs. What's this? That's going to be for the moon seal. Before we do that, I just want to have a little... Little check up here. No, can't do that yet. This looks like... Osha's gift allows magical locks and gates to be opened. Open will allow you to access new areas of the Abbey and its grounds, which are locked by magical means. Sarah was right to be wary of this place. But it's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, the blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. Oh, I'm going to be so annoying. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? A word of power. I have to wonder, are we dragonborn? Words of power and magical incantations the hunter can use on the abbey grounds. Ah, oh, so not out in combat against uh, Hydra. Ah, okay. There's four words of power. Oh, we are totally dragonborn. The goddess of order approves. And there's another arcane chest over it in the corner. So where does this come out? After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah, uh, caretaker, isn't ready to see me yet. Okay, secrets within secrets. Have we been out all night? No, we did. We went back to our room. That's that's fine at least. Uh, yeah, we have the gamma coil that we need to analyze. Good girl, Charlie. Yeah, you helped me with the uh, the challenge. I always appreciate that. You, every time we strike you, we get arcade knowledge. That's cool. <clears throat> uh, 
anything on. Uh, Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, strange out. All right, we're definitely going to do that. We still have so many more movies. But there's a couple of things to grab around, so we'll just pick them up as we're passing through. You can find gloss. Okay. Well, the microtransactions, if it's if it's all stuff that you can find from playing the game and running around, they might not be as terrible as I originally thought, but I still don't believe that it's a good mechanic to have in any game. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box. Oh yeah, the artifact. Ah uh, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. Well, yeah, we're definitely gonna open it up. First of all, though, we've got the gamma coil analysis going, to do. What do you think? Okay, forceful knockback. That's all right. The, the chaining, though, this is new. Could be really useful for positioning and whacking people all over the place. Let's get this one. See you, Hunter. So we've got a new combat ability. Open the hero screen to equip it. Abilities can be equipped or swapped. Any unused ability should be salvaged for essence, which is required for upgrades and more. So let's edit the deck. You can only have eight abilities equipped. So what are we going to replace? Probably one of the heals. Maximum four attacks allowed. Okay, we've got to replace an attack. Whip counts as a heroic. In that case, I guess we're going to get rid of the slash. Can we now upgrade our existing slash? I thought we'd be able to do that because we've got a spare we'll hold on to it for the moment right strange we desperately need to get into this crate we can invite him to that haven out there can we do that with everyone the yes we can so, Whatever. for the moment, if we'll just talk. If now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. Hmm.
I don't want to destroy it. Would it really give us an advantage? This will be enough to give us an edge. I hope so. Whatever it is, it's quite powerful. I'm relying on my instincts here, but truly that's all I have to rely on until I can find a way to access the Sanctum's archives again. That seems a bit risky. Right now, with the Sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It doesn't bite. Are there any curses I should be aware of? So, studying artifacts unlocks more powerful research projects at the forge. Okay. Uh, let's study it. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. Ooh. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or well, perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Provia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You uh had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. The place is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. So how exactly are we going to use the dagger? Okay. A simple object, though certainly not useless. So it gives us some essences and a knife as a common artifact. And improved our research level. Research projects take one day to complete, but you grant know, powerful really rewards. Well without loitering back there. How else am I going to steal your secrets if I can't see what you're up to? I doubt you'd find anything suitable among my secrets anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can it be? Did you just make a suit joke? I didn't hurt its feelings, did I? Two in a row. This is a major breakthrough for you. I'm so proud I could be here for this moment. Okay, I'm so we've got a couple of bits that we can do. We could do supernatural fabrication. Uh, that's going to allow us to craft single-use combat items. We could do war games, which will uh, increase ability options and earn additional ability when analysing gamma coils. That's got potential. Probably more than supernatural fabrication at this stage. And then the way of the fang we can't do yet. Uh, we need to have another mission with blades. So I think we'll do war games for now. Start that off. Now it takes one day. As we've been going through, we've been having a day and night cycle. Research is in progress. Return to the forge tomorrow morning for the results. Then we've got no other artifacts hey, to Hunter. study. Got a sec to spare? No, oh, Robbie's actually down here in the forge. Well, before we finish off, we'll uh, we'll have a chat with him as well then. You moving into the forge, Hunter? No. You've been here more in the past few days than I have since ever. The forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You're not Blaze, you and you never will be. With a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good. How could you tell? You are not the first spirit of vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days. 
Three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. Yeah, fire and sofas don't really, uh, don't really mix. Uh, you both better be ready for this. I am the scourge of the Lilith. My name is whispered in fear across the seven hells. When I fight, I make war, not make believe, Robbie. Be sure your Sparky is ready to do the same. Damn, Hunter. You talk the same kind of smack that he does. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blade to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kind of hard to miss. And Ghost Rider is now available for us. But well, we're definitely going to spar with him before we Hunter, finish up. Get your burn on. I'm talking training. Ah, this is where we upgrade our ability. So, ready for more? We're going to upgrade the slash. That actually just makes it flat better than our other card. Takes a bit of attack essence, but we're happy to spend that. And we may as well do the daily sparring before we finish up. Every day, the hunter can choose a new partner to spar with, resulting in increased friendship and unique rewards. I don't want to spar against you, I want to spar against Blade. Well, we'll we'll get friendship for this, and it costs us credits. Okay, heroes can only spar with the hunter once every four days, so you have to cycle through them anyway. Maybe you should be the spirit of vengeance. Oh, we don't actually get to spar; it just does like sparring complete. So we got three friendship XP, and we got a common combat bonus. Start with plus two redraws. Okay. It's an interesting mechanic. To the war room. We've got a mission. All right. Before we uh, go on and do that, we're going to finish up for this episode. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Midnight Suns. See you soon.